Just over 60 years ago, the great naturalist Peter Scott set about trying to save the rarest goose in the world, and he did it. That was the beginning of a fantastic story, because Peter's skills were being used and still are being used by the Wildfowl and Wetlands Trust, his organisation, to save endangered species around the world. Most recently, the Madagascar pochard, which is actually the rarest duck in the world, and probably the rarest bird in the world too, it's even been declared extinct twice and rediscovered is being given one last chance. This is the amazing story of the mission to try and save it. After a journey of about 48 hours, my colleagues and I have finally arrived in Antananarive, the capital city of Madagascar, and we're very happy to be in possession of all of the equipment and materials needed to stop the world's rarest bird from becoming extinct. That bird being the Madagascar pochard, which we thought went extinct in the early 1990s. 20 years been looking for this duck to do something with it. 20 years exactly this year. About three years ago, the population was found. Currently, we know there are fewer than 20 birds living on this one lake. And right now, it's their breeding season. We know that last year, no young survived. Our three females have attempted to produce babies this year, but all of the ducklings have died so far. Eaten, predated, or dying of disease, we're uncertain, but not surviving. The female has been sitting for three weeks now, and she's due to hatch her eggs next week. So it's a race against time. We have to get up there within the next seven days, look for nests, collect eggs, and hatch those eggs on the lake shore. But first, we have to get to where we're going. It's been one sort of catalogue of disasters after another. Currently, a few of the team have swine flu. We arrived two days late after our plane had to abandon its landing in a storm. Some of us have had things to eat that don't agree with us. Glenn has just been sick. We've ground to a halt again because the, a bridge has collapsed and all the traffic has stopped. The journey is particularly bumpy, very, very treacherous for an egg that is hatching. Our planning suggests that the eggs we're after are going to hatch on Sunday. It's now Wednesday, time is running out. We basically arrived here four days later than we hoped to. There's a female pochard with two baby ducklings newly hatched. That suggested that we were too late to the lake. Maybe there is another nest that uh, we didn't find, so we expect to still incubate. Maybe. Thank you for all your support for this project so far. With your help, we have been able to avert the imminent extinction of this species, and as you've just seen, we've been able to take birds from the wild. We have already built half the breeding facility, and we've had a successful first season, and now have 18 ducklings in captivity. But we need to do so much more. We will send our researchers back to Madagascar so that they can understand the threats to this species, and that they can identify sites where we can release our birds. You need to work with the local communities, both so that they are aware of this species and that they can be part of the solution to the conservation. And the breeding programme will continue for many years yet. Please donate what you can. With your help, we will be able to restore the wetlands in Madagascar, ensuring that both the pochard and the other endemic and fantastic wildlife in Madagascar can flourish. Thank mm -hmm. you.